Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Stack and Perpetrator here. In this video, we're going to discuss um, a little bit of why I uh, think the uh, higher grade raw uh, Morgans and Peace dollars are better, better value, even sometimes in your uh, in the slabs. I know this is not everybody's favorite uh, company, IGC. But I want to show you how, if you know with your VAMs, like I showed getting this book, that you can track down. Now I had to use, I already used the uh, VAM World uh, 2.0 to figure this one out. Um, I kind of already knew uh, some markings, so I was able to cherry pick because if you notice, there's no designation i paid 60 dollars for this coin it is a 1925 philly i'll show you the reverse there's no the mint mark should be right there just under the o and above the above the tip of the tail should be in there but there's no mint mark so this is the philly and uh what well, got me to purchase this this particular coin it is graded ms64 i know how some people feel about uh, icg and a lot of times they overgrade but i looked at this coin and i gotta say they they got this one right they got this coin right <laughs> I don't see any reason why this would not cross over as MS-64. I would be surprised if it fell to a 63. It is a really good coin, but I'm going to show you a couple things that turns this. And I'm going by PCGS's uh, price guide. Take it for what it is, but it's they're published... Uh, price guide in this condition uh, ms64 you're looking if it's just a 25 you're looking at what is it 90 to 100 dollars for this coin uh, just being a 25 or 1925 philly just with no van markings whatsoever so a 90 to $100 coin. What happens though, is this coin jumps to a 200 to $250 coin because this is a, uh, is one of the hot 50 uh, piece dollar vamps. And there's one, two, three markers on here. I'm gonna show you. And I'm going to try to get my pointer in to help us. If you look, uh, if you look right there between the ray and the eagle's shoulder, right there, you'll see a mark. That is a die, die chip. It's like a teardrop. That's one of the markers. Then if we go down to, if you look between the two rays that run between the, the last L and the A, let's see if I can hold this up, get my pointer in here, you're going to look, there's a ray that comes out of the A and then the one right next to it and right there where my pointer is, so I'm going to move my pointer out so we can get a better look. Oh, come on. If you look in that spot I was pointing at, you will see a die clash. It is right, right there. Let me see if I can study up my pointer here. It is going to be it's going to be right there at my pointer. 
it's a die class right there between the rays. But the most significant thing that puts this in the top, the top uh, 50 is because it's missing. Come on. If you count the rays between the mountain and his tail feathers, there's one, two, three, four, five, and there's supposed to be one here in this gap right here. There's supposed to be another one, but there's not because when they were this die clash here between the rays right there that I showed you and this teardrop, there was a major clash with this die and they were filing away to get rid of the clash and they removed one of the rays. So if you look again, right, because I'm going to bring up another coin and show you what it looks like. But let's count these again. There's one, two, three, four, five rays that are coming between the mountain and his tail feathers. There should be another one right here, but it's not there. That's what makes this, this turns out to be VAM 1T. It used to be VAM 5, but they eliminated VAM 5, and this is now isolated down to VAM 1T. It is on the Hot 50 list. So let me uh, let me bring this. Um, the reason I got this 27 is because the 27 Philly is one of your semi-key dates and it's one of the lower the lower mintage years so and this is a pretty high grade example here so but let's I'm going to use this one I'm get my gloves situated I'm going to show you we're going to take a look and we're going to count the the rays. See if I can hold this. Oh, come on. Uh, sometimes I don't know if it's better holding on to the slab or the raw coin. There we go. Okay, you can see there's one, two, three, four, five. And then there's this little bitty one up here in the space here. That's the sixth one. That's the one that got filed away. So if I can get a good focus. I need three hands to do this. I have something coming that will help me do this magnification a little better. But if you see that space, there we go. You can count the ray lines. There's one, two, three, four, five, and six. That little bitty one at the top between the feathers and the eagle's leg. That's the one that on this coin got filed away while they were cleaning up the die and is not present on this. There's only five ray lines right there. So that line right there positively identifies it. Another key marker is that eye clash between the two rays that I showed you. The two rays between the L and the A in dollar. And then that little teardrop die clash right there between the tip of that ray and the shoulder area of the eagle. So that's why if you study your van and learn some of the stuff you can't know what you, you can't know all of them i can tell you that there's there's probably only a handful probably a handful of people in the world that would know everything in this book and in this book um, i showed you getting this is the fourth edition and i couldn't find anything newer this was came out 97 98 and it's missing a lot of information on the peace dollars this is more of a of a guide so that I can 
narrowed down, I'll still have to refer to VAM, VAM World 2.0 to get the actual VAM number, which is where I got, where I learned. But because I know, I knew this was missing that, that ray under the tail feathers, I knew to cherry pick this coin. I already, I already knew that. So by me cherry picking, I turned a coin I picked up for $60 into a $200 to $250 addition to my collection. Unless I decide to flip this out and make some money, but I'm not sure I may. I haven't, I've never sent anything into the grading companies and I kind of, maybe I'll get a, join and get a membership and get a free voucher. Well, it's not free because you got to pay the membership. So it's just one of those things, but I have some coins I'm stocking up and I may send this in for a crossover and have the VAM designation put on it because with the. I mean, right now, as it stands, there's no, there's no ifs, ands, or buts that this is that VAM 1T Hot 50. It just doesn't have it designated on the label. And this is something you need to know, probably some important information. If you're collecting your Morgans in your peace dollars, I'm sure the person, even my coin shop, didn't know because they didn't look, they just took ICG's word that it was, you know, and they're in agreement. Um, sometimes they price the coins back because they know ICG sometimes is overboard. They're a little high on their, on their grades, but we're pretty certain this one's, this one's pretty solid for the grade. I don't think this would, this would slip. Now they did have another coin that was, uh, MS 63 and we both, uh, was, yeah, 63 and we both agreed it was a 26 S and we both agreed that ICG was very, very, very generous at giving it an MS 63. But when it came to this one, this is a really nice coin. But if you're collecting these, if you don't know any better and you go to sell them, as it stands, if nobody knows and nobody points it out that this is the hot is a hot fifty VAM and you go by just the fact that this is a ninety to hundred and fifteen dollar coin on PCGS is uh if you just go to twenty five and you just look at the MS sixty four and you determine ninety to hundred and thirteen dollars you're going to lose out because nobody figures to look, but if you know what you're looking for, even though it's not marked, we now know for a fact, because I'm marking it on my sheet here, that this is a hot 50 and it's now a 200 to $250 coin. So, and PCGS does, uh, does show if you go to their, to their price guide on the thing and you hit the the little plus by the 1925 it'll drop down in the it'll say vam it and then it'll have a the brackets with a five in there because it used to be vam five but they changed it to the one t the one t variety and it is listed as i think it's the when you do the drop down box there's there's three variations and this is the bottom variate. When you do the drop down, this is the bottom variation. But so very nice coin. But you can add instant value. And if you if you're not if you don't go through and verify and see what VAMs you have, you could be leaving money on the table. Some VAMs don't add value. Other VAMs do. If it's in the top if it's on the top one hundred or the hot fifty list. Um those are the ones that definitely add value but some of the other ones some of the other VAMs they just you know it's a variety and it's uh doesn't change the value that much 
But if you know what you're looking for, you can find, this is my second Hot 50, my first Hot 50 uh, piece dollar, but I did find a Hot 50 uh, Morgan dollar. Well, just by searching the Vams and knowing what I'm looking for. So, just keep that in mind. You could be leaving money on the table if you go to sell your coin. If you exit, you know, if nobody knows you've got a VAM variation that's worth worth extra money, you're going to leave money on the table. But then again, if the person selling the coin doesn't know it, and you do, then you get to add value to your collection. So, it pays to... Uh, it pays to do your homework, and uh, sometimes you find a winner. You know, some people say it's not worth the look uh, or whatever, but for me, the hunt and finding something like this is uh, a big part of the fun. So, anyways, let me know what you think down below, and I will see you on another one.